As we have come to know Noran Gohar, she's got such a ruthless attacking side to her. But here's a great example of, of her slightly softer side of her game, playing a backhand drop. So, okay, yes, it is slightly more aggressive than maybe the touch of other players, but it's a beautiful example of how she doesn't really go with this too hard, uses a lot of strings, a lot of cut to be able to get that ball stuck in short and make it her opponent's life really difficult. So here's the classic Gohar setup. You know, she gets that racket up really early, nice shape in her, in her elbow position. Position, that that V pointing downwards rackets nice and vertical that wrist is nice and engaged and then she goes back in around her shoulder goes from what I call position one to position two which is around the shoulder down to there that's position two where the racket starts to put into the or go into the horizontal really open racket face of this position really hitting down and inside the ball so look at where that racket is arriving look at that angle that racket is meeting the ball there's going to be a lot of cuts a lot of revolutions and look how the ball moves off the strings in that direction so it's this idea from going from position one to position two into the horizontal knuckles are facing up forearms facing up opens that racket edge and then gives it that spin and cut and then let's look at the follow through look at how she leaves it relatively low so she makes contact follow through goes low towards the ground there we can't see it because it just cuts it off and then she just lifts it slightly at the end or doesn't even lift her racket edge just lifts her hand to make sure it goes in so this is really giving her the ability to stop the ball in because she's a little bit aggressive in this backward part of the swing you know most players that might be a full-blooded shot to the back of the court but the, the ability for her to drop the racket head now below her wrist keeping it open and now showing the strings and that top edge of the racket to where she wants to finish that's a beautiful execution of that follow through it's something big i really try work on with my players and coach them this ability to follow through towards the target and show those strings up towards the ceiling and that plastic towards where you want that ball to go so we'll just watch it a few more times from this beautiful front on position just visualizing and taking into account how she plays the shot look great body position as well great spacing she's leaning into the ball her head's forward her backs at a slight angle so all of these things there if you just look at her back now the way she's transferring her weight into the shot all contributes to the quality and the finish of what she's able to do combined with this lovely shape this lovely open strings and this follow-through that goes slightly down first and then finishes by pointing at the target area